Solomon's Porch. My name is Bob Sorge from Kansas City, and I'm sending out a big shout to Solomon's Porch on 20 years together laboring in the harvest. Pastor Sam and Lisa, Nate and Monica, and all my friends at Solomon's Porch, just fantastic to celebrate with you. The Lord gave me a word for 2023. I'll share it with you very quickly. It's from 1 Corinthians 16, verse 13. The New King James Version says it like this, be brave. It's one word in the Greek, and it means play the man, or in an English idiom, we might say, man up. 2023 is not a year for shrinking back. It's not a year for intimidation or reservation or self preservation, playing it safe. 2023 is a year to move forward with, forward with boldness, with confidence, with assurance to hear the word of the Lord and to do what he is calling you to do. You're more unpopular than ever. You've got more enemies than ever. You've got more resistance than ever. Move forward in the grace of God and be brave in Jesus Christ. Something we learn from Ezra chapter 3 verse 3. Courage is not what we do when there is no fear and danger. Courage is what we do in the face of fear and danger. Therefore, as you step into this year, your 20th year together, go forward in the grace of God. He is with you. Be brave. Amen. God bless you. Congratulations, Solomon's Porch, your 20th anniversary. I just regret I can't be there. I would love to be there, but congratulations to you and my prayerful blessing upon Sam and Lisa and so many of you that I've got to know. Uh, you're very special to me. For one thing, I pray for you every day, have done for years. Also, I pray for Pastor Sam every day, have done for years. I wonder if you realize how we met. Many of you may not know. I was recommended to you by John Paul Jackson, and I was scheduled to come, and then, lo and behold, he dies and goes to heaven. But good for you, you kept me anyway, and I've been coming ever since. Well, I can tell you this, it's my prayer that Solomon's porch will be like the Solomon's porch in the book of Acts, Acts chapter five. And that's where the, the name Solomon's porch comes from Acts chapter five. The early part, fear of God, people being struck dead because of disrespect for the Holy Spirit. Then you've got healing, uh, signs and wonders, miracles. You've got conversions. I pray for all these things. You say, you pray for people to be struck dead? Well, not exactly, but I do pray that there will be a genuine fear of God. I want you to see genuine conversions. I want you to see genuine miracles. And I pray that in the years to come, this will happen. One last point. John Paul Jackson has prophesied to me something unfulfilled, and that would include signs, wonders, miracles, and authority in the Word, like in the days of the early church. Let's pray his prophecies fulfilled and that I get to manifest this by the grace of God and for the glory of God the next time I come. Hello, Solomon's Porch. This is Rob and Mary Lee from Toronto. Greetings and congratulations on your 20 year anniversary. We're really privileged to have a little, a little tiny part of all of that. And we've been with you for almost all of it, our first visit was in 2004. So we've seen you from people just starting out in business and you getting married and having kids and all that kind of good stuff. And we're just so proud of you. You've done really well. We've been fortunate, I've been fortunate to be at a number of the churches and zoomed in on a couple of other ones to just see all of you all over Asia. It's really, really bless a blessing for us to see what you've taken and run with. 
The big one, of course, for us is hearing God's voice, having relationship with God, being able to share God's heart and God's words with other people. And I remember the last time I was there watching the ministry team, it's like, wow, I might as well just go get a cup of coffee because you guys are really making it work well. And that's probably the highlight of our trips there is just seeing how much you've all grown. But another highlight we got to remember is the food. You guys know how to take us to restaurants that are like so good. We brag about you all the time. In fact, the woman that's shooting this picture right now got to hear a couple of our food stories that you blessed us with. So not only are you really receptive, really willing to learn and hear and absorb and do, you know how to host really well. And it's such a privilege for us to be connected with such an amazing company of people. This company of people called Solomon's Porch. Happy 20th anniversary. The Lord bless you guys. Hi, Solomon's Porch. I'm Eric Lehman. My wife, Sarah, and I pastor Freedom Church in Wesley Chapel, Florida. And we are so excited for you guys as you celebrate 20 years of remarkable ministry. I think of Colossians 1 and verse 6, where it says this gospel is bearing fruit and growing throughout the whole world. And that is exactly what has happened at Solomon's Porch. The gospel is bearing fruit and you have touched the nations. You know, when I think and pray for you guys, what comes up in my spirit is a picture, a picture of you walking through a valley, but you have made it through this valley. There has been some testing, but you have persevered. And now I see you guys beginning to climb a mountain. You're going to need each other. And I would say this, enjoy the journey, enjoy each other, enjoy walking together, enjoy climbing together. You need each other, but I see you guys climbing a mountain. And when you get to that mountain, the horizon is going to be endless. The possibilities are going to be endless. You are going to see things in such an incredible way. God is just going to have vision explode on the inside of you. And I just see Solomon's porch continuing to multiply, continuing to grow. I am so excited for you guys. And so 20 years, I, you know, 20 years is just the beginning. It's a it's a foundation. Uh, and from that foundation, there's just going to be multiplication. Uh, so we love you guys. We think about you. We pray for you all the time. Uh, Sam, Lisa, uh, Sarah and I just consider you two of our very closest friends in life and ministry. And it has been such a joy and honor to see Solomon's porch uh, start from the very beginning and to see you guys' faithfulness and, and, and to see your, your servant hearts and, and your giving and, and your generosity. Uh, it's been an incredible example to us, and we just thank you guys for that. So we love you guys. We love you very, very much. We pray for you, and we're just excited about the future. This is just the beginning, and we can't wait to see all that God is going to do in and through you. I hope to see you very, very soon. We love you. God bless you. And I'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Pastor Che of Harvest Rock Church here in Pasadena, California. And I want to congratulate my good friend, Pastor Sam Song, Lisa Song, and uh, Solomon's Porch for your 20th anniversary. Now, I feel that God has called you for such a time as this. Esther 414. And I also believe that it's not a coincidence that you're part of this church living in Hong Kong, because this, as we know, is a very significant season for Hong Kong and for China. You have been in the news a lot. And I just want to, first of all, commend you for just hanging in there, persevering. But I do believe in God's sovereignty. Psalm 37, 23 says, the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. And even though we've gone through a global shaking with coronavirus, and, uh, and the pandemic, but yet for you to be in Hong Kong, I feel is very, very significant because you're the light of the world. You're the salt of the earth. And I believe that God has trusted you to be living and being part of a church in Hong Kong for such a time as this. 
In the midst of the shaking, the Bible prophesies that I'm going to shake all nations, but I'll fill this house with glory in Haggai 2, 7. We're on the verge of the greatest revival in the history of the church. And of course, God loves the Chinese, over a billion Chinese, and I believe that he's going to use you to bring revival and reformation to Hong Kong and to China. So God bless you. We're cheering you on, and we congratulate you on your 20th anniversary, and we know the best is yet ahead. Once again, congratulations. Happy anniversary, Solomon's Porch. 20 years, my goodness. As we celebrate today, your 20th year, I can't help but feel um, that we're really celebrating God's faithfulness over you. Solomon's Porch, I just want you to know that you're not just a church uh, that's, you know, admired from afar. Uh, you're a church that um, people are trying to emulate uh, your heart for God, your hunger for God. I just want you to never lose that, that passion you carry for Jesus Christ. Um, I want to uh, bless and congratulate uh, all the pastors and the leadership there, especially Pastor Sam, my mentor, my friend. Um, I mean, he already knows and you guys already know uh, the indelible mark that he's left in my life and in our ministry. But um, what I do want to say is thank you, uh, Pastor Sam, for never quitting. Thank you for never giving up. Um, you've already impacted so many lives like mine, but you continue, continue to do so. You continue to serve God bravely and boldly. And um, uh, I, when I grow up, I want to be like you, man. Um, so thank you, uh, Pastor Sam and Pastor Lisa and all the pastors there and all the leaders there. You guys um, have set the bar high and, and Jesus deserves that bar to be high. Um, Solomon's Porch, I want to encourage you and, and congratulate you for being faithful to God. All these years of loving each other, loving the world, uh, forgiving each other, overcoming issues together, uh, doing your best to not only uh, be reconciled, but stay reconciled, um, doing your best to serve God and his hurting world. I mean, you guys have gone through such highs, such lows, and such highs and lows. And uh, it just goes to show that this is not an institution. It is a church. It is a family of God. So thank you for not only sticking it through, but being faithful to God and each other. Uh, as we um, look ahead for the next 20 years, I do have a word of encouragement for you. My prayer is that um, the Lord will find you uh, tenderhearted, that the Lord will find you with a soft, malleable heart, that your heart will never grow callous, your heart will never get hardened, that even though you guys are maturing and getting to know God more and more over the years, that um, your heart will become increasingly childlike. That's my prayer, that there will be a tenderness to your heart, there will be a tenderness to your worship and words and service to Jesus. Again, love you guys. Thank you for, for, um, thank you for being you. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to worship the Lord with you someday. I hope to visit again. Um, until then, God bless. Um, stay strong, and may the joy of the Lord be your strength. Love you guys. Hey, SP, P. Sam, and Lisa. Wow, this is your twentieth anniversary. I want to take time to celebrate with you and to congratulate you for 20 years of amazing, life-changing, and exciting ministry. I'm thankful to God for how you have impacted our lives, our city, and beyond. I've been so impressed by your zeal, your faith, your vision, your generosity, not only toward us, but toward so many people. And I pray that God will continue to bless you and increase your resources, that God will enlarge your tent and your churches around the world will be impacting the world for Jesus. Peace, Sam. I'm grateful for our friendship and our partnership. And I pray that God will continue to shape our friendship and our partnership to touch the world. Thank you so much. And I pray that this weekend that you will be reflecting the goodness of God. You will be refreshed and you will be ready again.
to win the world for Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Hi, everybody in Hong Kong. Um, Elizabeth and I are in Armenia, in the oldest cathedral in the world. Armenia was the first country to accept Christianity, and this was the first cathedral built. Yeah, just congratulations for your 20-year anniversary. You've done so amazingly with your faithfulness, leading people to Christ, and um, we stand with you and greet you um, from Armenia. Yeah, thanks ever so much. We just feel a privilege to be friends of Solomon Porch. Bless you all. God bless.